530, a big change for the TSA. Some employees will be leaving the airport and heading to the border. It's part of a new policy rolled out by the Trump administration. Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusin joins us. And Adam, these agents are going to be asked to do a very different job than the one they signed up for. Yeah, and today the TSA did confirm that they will be supporting what they describe as the Department of Homeland Security's effort to address the humanitarian and security crisis at the southwest border. Whether that's California, Texas, Arizona, that's not something that the TSA is commenting on. Talking to air travelers, the question, how will this impact them? At any airport, the barrier from airport entrance to the gates isn't hard to spot. There's a big checkpoint generally filled with a bunch of equipment staffed by members of the Transportation Security Administration, or just TSA. Well, we had some difficulty with the shoe. But, you know, <laughs> it's always something. Now, instead of just the airports, you might see members of the TSA at the border. According to a report out today, the Transportation Security Administration plans to send hundreds of officials to help with efforts to deal with migrant inflows on the southern border. TSA officials telling 10 News TSA is in the process of soliciting volunteers to support this effort while minimizing operational impact. The move comes just days after Homeland Security officials released new numbers of illegal border crossing apprehensions, showing a major increase from 2018. We need more help. Yes. We need to do more to protect the wall, to, to protect the border. Travelers flying into San Diego's airport were split on the decision. Would you be worried that that would potentially mess up wait times? Here, at, yeah, TSA would slow it down a lot. I think we have to do the best we can. They're doing the best they can. I mean, with what they have, to be honest. It's very difficult to any system to work out. When it starts working out, it's better to leave it as it is. Concerns over staffing and timing seem to be echoed by the union that represents TSA employees. In a statement, the head of the American Federation of Government Employees TSA Council wrote in part, TSA officers are already severely understaffed. Removing our aviation security counterparts from airports and placing them at the border could undermine our nation's aviation security. And TSA said that they're requesting volunteers, although they didn't say how many. TSA has more than 60,000 employees. As for what type of role employees will have, the TSA hasn't commented on that, but we've discovered they will not be conducting immigration duties at ports of entry. Adam Rakusin, Team 10.